During labor, birth, and postpartum, people find that they need care and help in ways that they never expected before. This is why it's so important to learn how to receive help. The idealization of independence and self-reliance is woven into the fabric of modern culture. There's a belief that if you can do something by yourself, you should. We love the idea of being totally amazing all on our own. Learning to accept help is a very important skill in labor, birth, and especially new parenthood. I wanna share with you a metaphor that I use that helps parents I work with to understand the role of helping and being helped. In this metaphor, we talk about the river. There's two parts, the banks and the water. The birthing parent is the water with its moving, flowing energy, where it can look like it's placid on top, but underneath it's moving powerfully. Or perhaps where there's rapids that are tight and the water has to push through the energy. Or sometimes where there's eddies and the water feels like it's going nowhere. The partner is the banks. The banks of the river actually help respond to the motion and movement and energy of the river. These aren't LA river banks like where I live that are concrete and forcing the water in one direction. These are responsive banks that respond to the movement and needs of the water. So how do you take this metaphor and apply it to labor? There's a few different ways. Learning to receive help is learning how to let go and be in the water. Learning how to be the banks is how, learning how to hold space for the energy that often is expressed in labor. To explore this concept further and in a practical way, I want to invite you and your partner to do a practice with me. To do this practice, you'll need a few items. Please get a couple of ice cubes, just a bowl of a few ice cubes is fine, and a cloth. I have a cloth diaper because diapers, parenthood, they kind of go together. You can use whatever kind of cloth you have available. Now the ice, we're gonna hold the ice in our hands. And the idea with the ice is not that in any way that represents what labor is like, but it gives you a negative stimulus to work with. The negative stimulus, something that your mind wants to make go away. That gives you an opportunity to work with how the brain functions around discomfort. It will also give your partner an opportunity to support you while in discomfort. That's the whole idea of this practice. So once you have your ice and your cloth, we're ready to begin. How this is going to work is I'm going to ring a bell and the birthing parent is gonna pick up ice in their hand. Now, I don't want you to just rest it on the palm of your hand. I want you to wrap your hand around the ice. Get really good contact with the ice. And the drips, that's why you have the cloth, okay? Again, this is not because labor is like holding ice, but it's to give your mind something to work with. You'll hold the ice for about a minute at which point I'll ring the bell again and you get to put the ice down. During that minute, your partner supports you with words and touch and love in whatever way comes naturally to them. I will also be coaching them with some ideas and suggestions that I have that I've found useful with parents during my years of teaching. Once you have your ice, we're ready to begin. Pick up your ice. And partners, get in close with your beloved. Get in close and watch them. See where they are holding tension. Often it's in the eyes, the shoulders, the jaw, or the buttocks. Encourage them to soften and let go. Use your words, and if words don't come naturally, match their breath with yours.
keep going. Keep finding things to say and ways to touch them that feel intuitive to you in support of your partner. Put down the ice. Before you start talking about what just happened, I want to guide you to give very specific feedback. This is the part that is really helpful for building partners' confidence and also their competence to help you. So start with this, what worked? Tell your partner what they did that was helpful to you. Was there anything that they said or did or a way that they touched you that you liked, that you found was helpful? If you have to, dig deep. The idea here is to help build their skills. So find what worked. Once you've done that, then share with your partner what they could do, maybe one small thing they could do to make it even better. Part of the process of giving feedback in this way is so that birthing parents can become aware of what was helpful, to tune in to how you feel and what you find helpful, so that you start to build your capacity to receive help, as well as help your partner build the skills in supporting you. That was just one ice contraction. I want to encourage you to practice often, to practice again right now, try it again, incorporating the feedback that your partner has given to you, so that you can start to get better and better at both being supported and supporting in a way that works well for you. Build your skills over time. I would encourage you coming back to this practice multiple times a week from now until when your baby arrives. That way, you both are better versed at being either supported or supporting 